In this tutorial, Arduino library is created for PCF 8574 8-bit I.O. expander and the expander is programmed using C++ and assembly. For details on how to program PCF 8574 interface with ATtiny85 microcontroller, please refer to a previous tutorial which can be found in the video description. Let's have a look at the advantages of mixing C++ and assembly. Assembly makes direct access to microcontroller's hardware modules. For example, we could program the I2C by writing this assembly subroutine, which sets the transmission frequency to 100 kHz and then enables the I2C. Another advantage, we can write some functions in assembly so, for example, calling this C++ function will execute this subroutine. Another advantage of mixing C++ and assembly is that we could optimize speed-critical parts of the code, especially in real-time applications. And finally, some low-level tasks are better implemented in assembly. For example, programming the I2C module of the microcontroller. Before we look at the details of programming the PCF8574, let's have a look at the circuit diagram of the implemented project. We have two ICs. One will be programmed to be input and the other will be output. The slave address of the input device is shown here, while this is the slave address of the output device. Connected to the input device, we have an 8-bit DIP switch. And connected to the output device, we have an 8-bit bar graph display. And both devices are interfaced with the Arduino using I2C connection. The circuit operates as follows. The user will provide a byte value through the DIP switches, which is then fed into the input device. And the input device will then convert it into serial data and send it over the I2C bus to the microcontroller. The microcontroller will then take the byte and send it serially to the output device which is then converted into a uh, parallel byte and displayed on the 8-bit bar graph display. Before we create a library for the I.O. expander, let's see how we can mix C++ and assembly in order to program the PCF8574. Within the C++ sketch, we use the extern keyword in order to declare function prototypes. Now these functions, their definition, are written in assembly which can be found inside the S file. To learn more on how to create S files uh, within C++ sketches, please refer to my previous videos on programming the Arduino using assembly. If we look at one function prototype, which is I2C underscore initialization, its definition is found in the S file here, which is written in assembly language. And in this subroutine, we are setting the transmission frequency of the I2C device. We are setting it to 100 kilohertz. And then we are enabling the I2C device. Continuing with the other function prototypes, we have function I2C start, which is used to initiate the start condition of the I2C communication. Function I2C write is used to write a byte to the I2C device. Function I2C read is used to read a byte from the I2C device. And function I2C stop is used to end the I2C transmission by sending the stop condition. Again, all of these functions are written in assembly which can be found within the S file. To learn more on how to program the I2C module of the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller, please refer to my previous tutorial. A link to such a tutorial is found in the video description. Inside the setup function, we call this assembly subroutine in order to initialize the I2C of the microcontroller by setting the 
transmission frequency to 100 kilohertz and enabling the module and then we call this function to send this byte to the uh, device whose slave address is 42 hexadecimal this is the output device where the 8-bit bar graph is interface so here we are sending 0 it means we are turning off the display or clearing the display function send byte will receive the slave address of the device and the byte to be transmitted first it will execute this assembly subroutine to initiate the start condition and this subroutine will send the slave address to the device and this subroutine will send the byte to the device and uh, finally this subroutine will terminate the I squared C communication by sending the stop condition inside the loop function this function will get a byte from the input device whose slave address is 41 hexadecimal and the byte is then stored in this variable function get byte will receive the slave address and then send the start condition and then send the slave address to the input device and then read the byte from the input device and then send the stop condition the byte read will be stored in the data register of the i squared c module of the microcontroller so this value will then be returned to the calling function back inside the loop function after receiving the data byte from the input device we call this function to send the data byte to the output device which has this slave address a quick note function i squared c write has one argument which is a byte value this byte value is sent to the assembly subroutine so here in the assembly subroutine i squared c write the byte value is automatically received by a register r24 which can then be used and processed within the assembly subroutine Now we look at creating a library for the PCF8574IO expander. So this uh, diagram shows the uh, directory structure of the library. So we have within the Arduino's libraries folder, we have the library folder named PCF8574 underscore expander, which contains the examples folder and the files needed to create the library namely the source file the header file and the s file which contains the assembly code we use Microsoft Visual Studio code to create the header file the source file the s file and the example sketch within the header file we define our class PCF8574 underscore expander which has only public members it has this constructor which has the same name as the class name and three methods this first method is to initialize the I squared C and the second method is to get a byte from the device and the third method is to send a byte to the device inside the source file we declare the function prototypes the definition of these prototypes are found inside the S file next we define the constructor and then we define the three public methods we begin with method initialize underscore i squared c which calls this uh, c++ function and the definition of this function is found in the s file next we have the definition of uh, method get byte which will receive the device address and then it will execute these c++ uh, functions that have definitions found in the S file. Finally, we have the definition of method send byte. After we install the library within the Arduino IDE, we can now have a look at the demo sketch. So we include the created library and then we declare this object to the constructor and within the setup function we call this function to initialize the I squared C 
and then we call this function to send a byte to the output device and within the loop function we call this function to re get a byte from the input device and save it in variable data and then use this function to send the same byte to the output device. In conclusion, using the Arduino IDE, it's easy to mix assembly and C++ to create efficient and fast libraries. Thank you for watching.